In this video, we check out Emporium Food Hall in Bangkok. Hey guys, if it's your first time on my channel, my name is Great Luchada. Yes, great like Great Wall of China. I'm into food, travel, and real estate. Do consider subscribing to my channel. So now we're back here in Soy, oh, Silong, just walking around, you know. They have these little alleys with different kinds of uh, stalls, uh, stalls, restaurants, you know, back alleys to choose from. We then take the BTS near Siam Paragon. So we now got to uh, Prompong Station and of course we're here again at M Port Cartier. They still have the Christmas stuff up here. Uh, oh, but I think we're going to the other side, not not the glass quartier, but the M quartier area. So we have to go to the other side. So guys, I stand corrected. We're at actually Emporium. It's this is where we watch the movie M Privé Cinema Club. I had to take a bio break. They have beautiful CRs. So with our stomachs grumbling, we head up floor by floor. So we finally reach our target destination, the Emporium Food Hall. As you can see here, they extended during the holiday season. Because before you enter this place, you need to get a card. So deposit some money at the counter and you get these cards. It's up to you how much money you want to put inside. Deposit money and then later on you can claim your money afterwards. So we're now here at the, M the Emporium Food Market, which is near the top floor. And they have before the cinemas on the top floor. And they have lots of food here. We're so excited to try some of the food, especially the oyster omelets. Look at the oyster. And then they're cooking. See? I'm so excited to try the food again. Oyster omelet. Here we go. Here's everything that they serve at this particular station. And here's the oyster omelet counter. What I love about Thai food is they have just so many kinds of condiments to choose from. So here's our sizzling oyster omelette. And we couldn't help ourselves but get also some Pad Thai. With one last look around at all the people and the food, we start to dig into our food. So of course I had to get my oyster pancakes, so excited and it's like sizzling. And of course there's some pad thai as well, the staple Thai food for, for tourists. So now we're gonna try this delicious oyster sizzling whatever pancake. I'm sorry that we're seated, seated in a poorly lit area, but you'll have to make do with this. Mm. Wow, it's so good. First time for me to try this sizzling oyster pancake compared to the other one which is like not on the sizzling plate so I realized this one is more omelette -y. it's like an omelette sizzling on a sizzling plate so as I mentioned earlier this one is not as crunchy as the other omelette I, I'm used to here in Thailand but this one is quite good because it's like an omelette that has been put on a sizzling plate and what really makes this really special which I haven't done maybe I've done it with the other 
uh, oyster omelet is they have this special plum sauce that the woman told me to put on top of it, which is a bit sweet. So it's tasty. Mmm, it's good. And guys, since it's on a sizzling plate, you have to blow. Mm. Blow so that you won't burn your tongue. It's now time to taste the top pad thai. Very spicy and good. Tasty. Just like the typical pad thai. So I just vi finished sneezing twice, but this place, it reminds me of the, the place in what's that place called? Grand Hyatt and BGC because all the food stalls are in the middle. But here it's all the local Thai food from different parts of Thailand. And all the rest of, all the seating spaces are all around the food stalls. Just like the same layout at Grand Hyatt BGC. Cheers. Thanks for watching this video guys. Do leave a thumbs up or even a like down below or even leave a comment. Do if ever you get to Bangkok, do visit this place. It's worth a visit. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for other videos. Have a great day.